Isaias. With one of his first touches back at Coopers. And he squares it up. It's going to be a long range shot. He took a deflection off Mork, who uh, might have been in offside position. It was Louis Dorigo from long range. Great depth for both teams. Now they're onside here. And the boot is away. McLaren in the middle. It's Jamie McLaren. He wasn't going to miss that, was he? He's finally broken his Cooper's stadium curse. And three games without a goal in the A-League men's competition comes to an end. You simply cannot contain the triple golden boot winner for long. Bernal such a neat and tidy player, half. It's probably the one thing that's missing from his game is more goals. Here he is again, he was collected by Jakobsen, it'll break here for the boots. With Dillian off, off his line, he had to make a really smart stop, the goalkeeper. It's a glorious ball for the boots. Wasn't the greatest first touch. Second was a bad, he bends it! What a goal, he's done it again! Andrew Naboot, not the first time he has scored with the outside of his boot. That is an absolute peach, and it could be the killer blow for Melbourne City. Strength gets him away from O'Neill. Is this the moment for the Reds? It's Cassini Yengi off the post and tapped in by Stephen Mork. And that lane had the lifeline. The skipper leading the way, but it was Cassini Yengi's strength that did the damage for Melbourne City. Glover lost his bearings, and Mork wasn't going to miss from there. 2 1. It's been a really good watch. It has. Well, for right oh, now, Glover's off his line, and Adelaide could make it 2 2 here. Absolutely unbelievable! Ben Halloran was presented with a gift that he could not refuse and simply lifted it back over the head of Tom Glover and into the net. And we are all square as we tick over into injury time.